We're in Backup Exec 2014. I'm going to show you how to create a disaster recovery disk. This will allow you to uh, restore from a backup much more quickly because you can boot from the disk and then go right to the backup device. It will know exactly how to find it. So I'll go ahead and click on the icon in the upper left hand corner. Configuration settings, create disaster recovery disk. Now, if this is the first time you've ever done this, then this is exactly the video you want to see. So we want to create a new disaster recovery disk ISO image. Go ahead and click next. Now it's going to tell you that it's, it's going ahead and it's going to need the Windows assessment and deployment kit. So we'll go ahead and click next. And a new box uh, pops up and it says install it to this computer right to the C drive. And once it's installed to the C drive, then it'll use about three gigabytes. So we want to make sure we have at least three gigabytes available in our computer. And we've got about 14 free, so we might want to use the E drive instead in this particular case. So we'll just go ahead and change that to E drive. And let's go ahead and click next. And do we want to join the customer experience improvement program? I'm going to say no. And we're going to accept the license agreement of course after reading it and we're going to use the default boxes that are required to make this work so you don't need to install anything additional all right this is going to take a little time to download so we'll go ahead and skip ahead all right once this is all over you'll see welcome to the assessment and deployment kit go ahead and click close now we're going to want to choose a 64-bit image since this is a 64-bit OS and all of our OS's are 64-bit but if yours are 32-bit choose 32. Change your time zone to be the one that you're in and of course the language that you want and you want it to automatically start the network services required. Go ahead and click next. All right we're going to go ahead and choose the 64-bit computer use the network drivers storage drivers etc next and from here it's going to say drivers list if we want we can add a network driver and we can locate that network driver and add it at this point and if we want we can cause it uh, call it a specific name we're going to choose the default custom SDR bootable CD and we're going to go ahead and leave it in the C drive right in this location All right, now it's going to show you a little summary of what it's about to do. And we am going to scroll ahead and go over to the right there. And we'll click Create Image. And this could take a little bit of time. It'll give you a uh, status as it goes along. And we'll go ahead and pause, or, uh, fast forward the video for you so you don't have to wait for that whole thing. Okay, we've gone ahead and fast forward through the recovery disk image creation. Go ahead and click Next and then we'll go ahead and click finish and you can see we can copy that location down so we can click finish here and now we'll go ahead and locate that disk image just to make sure that it's there and it's going to be custom SDR image there it is custom SDR image so uh, it's all done being created it's about 450 megs and now what you do when you're ready to create a uh, an SDR for another server is you highlight that server in the list and then you click on the create disaster recovery disk again and this time you choose the location of the ISO file that we created earlier so we can go ahead and paste that in and then click next and then it will uh, create an SDR just for that specific server so the first one we created was a generic template that's that's to be used and then the ones we create after that are specific to each individual server so run this again for each server create an ISO and call it the name of that particular server so you know how to get it burn it to DVD at that point and then save it for when you do have a disaster boot from that DVD and uh, it will know exactly where to go in order to find the uh, restoration and find the backup server uh, so you can go ahead and restore much more quickly.